plays games with Steve and Angel. All right, Steve, left or right? <laughs> right! Uh, okay, this is it. The final, final battle. Let's go. You gotta, oh, yeah. You're right. gonna, no, you're just, oh, uh, oh, yeah, like, that's I'm right. peacing out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's me. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor's sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. Doodly <laughs> doodly doodly. <laughs> Sorry. No, saw, please. Yeah. When I saw what happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gant help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if, but if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Hmm. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on the armor's sword. You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. Uh. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Lana must have known. See, Mr. Wright? She really does have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Um, in a book. Let's take a look. Take a look! It's in a book! Well, now we can freaking look well, at now, what it. Well, now, what the fuck? We can freaking look at it now. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, it's P.O. It's P.O. Um, that ain't it. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I give up. <laughs> well, oh, I give up. Uh, let's uh, open the book. Can I open it? Or do I, what? Do I have to open it from the front? <laughs> Oh, I can examine the back. All right. Well, wait. No, I can only... What? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, one of it's probably messed up. It's, uh... It's your tan. It, yeah. Books are backwards. <laughs> hey, there's a picture here. Oh, hey, there's a picture here. It's <laughs> barely any different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, there's a, hey, there's a picture here. Hey, there's a picture. Hey, whoa, hey. whoa, there's a picture. Whoa, whoa. there's a picture oh, here. Shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Like uh, uh, oh, 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 my. Phoenix and like, hey, there's a picture here. He's like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I That was not the right timing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm trying to. I, it's gross and gruesome. And I'm trying to, like, piece together if there's something I'm not seeing here. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like There's this. There's something here that's kind of <laughs> gross. <laughs> that's because I that's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Ew. <gasps> Mr. Wright, that piece cut out from his vest. Save. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, I was like, I, I thought, where's the word save? Um, okay. Is it one? Two. Two, okay. Three, four. Um, sabi gum. Okay, let's continue. I don't like back as like the thing. Oh. I'd rather it was like continue. Um, that piece cut out from his vest. Could that be a cloth we found inside Chief Gant's safe? What? <laughs> what was his Muppet? I can't. I, I was a stand. <laughs> What's he, this? All right. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry, it was just one line, too. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> it's a handprint. That cloth had fingerprints on it. Whosoever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. What? But those fingerprints, they're yours, Emma. Oh, I really hope I didn't say that out loud this time. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Right? Like trying not, so like forcing Kool -Aid himself not to see. Oh yeah, 
Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. It's like holding his like inner thoughts out. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. <clears throat> the real murder. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. At this point, they're not actually opposing each bum, other. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, they haven't been opposing each other. Yeah, for they've been working together the whole time. It's great. Hold it. Uh, Come now, Wachi. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. Angel, you be the judge now. Uh, Chief Gant. What, now you want to make me out as the bad guy, too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. Objection! I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. No takesies backsies. <laughs> no takesies backsies. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. <laughs> oh shit. Jesus. Ah, so what? You think I'm worried? I'm normal. I'm normal. <laughs> Me worry? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't uh, need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. Someone? someone. So then, what's your excuse, Righto? Uh -huh. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. I is this true, Mr. Wright? If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. Mr. No. No, Mr. Wright! If you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one. Save. You will be the one appearing before the board of inquiries. <laughs> time out. <laughs> oh, time out, time out. Okay, time in. Sabe, you're Game. <laughs> Phoenix is just like, is base, base. <laughs> all y'all, y'all oxen free. Yeah. Uh, also, it's in inquiries, your honor. Inquiries? Oh, all right, I'm going to do guilty, you little bitch. All right. <laughs> do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? What are you going to do, Angel? Um... Can I ask, are there different endings? Um... I think just, uh... What do you think is the right, is the best decision here? Um, we're going through this whole arc where we're like, we have to just reveal the truth, reveal the truth, reveal the truth. It, like, we, like, we just have to trust in the system that like, it's more important to reveal the truth than to like, protect someone. So it would be really bad. I feel like if we're just like, no, we have to lie. We just have to conceal it. We have to protect Emma. Um, you know, I feel like it'd be really hypocritical. And my theory is that, like, it's planted evidence or, like, sure, like, her print is on it. Like, she shoved him. But, like, I don't think that alone will, like, fucking kill you, and like, through the back, like, fatally. My weird theory is that he was in the suit. Um, so we just saw the chance to, like, but like I don't know I, I like gestured to like stab him in the back like he just like put a force to it um but that might be crazy I don't know um and the whole thing was like oh he probably doesn't even fit in it uh, um I don't know if that was just a joke or foreshadowing um I want to show evidence I want to show the truth even if it really really sucks um so I'm gonna do it I'm sorry if this like sets us back yes your honor 
Oh, let's see. Yes, Your Honor. I do have further evidence. All right, then uh, the time's finally come to show it to them. Those prints have got to be the chiefs. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Pro uh, Professor Marshall. <laughs> um, who actually killed him. Now I'm wondering if there's like, oh, the, if you could show two different things and like one pits Emma, but there's actually better evidence that pits the chief. Crime scene photo from the case few years ago, taken from the- I'm gonna save you some time. Do the, the cloth. Okay, I just wanna look at this real quick. Okay, it has a piece of the cloth. It's gross. Ew, ew, ew. Um, all right, well, present it. Take that. That's a piece of leather clothing. Yes, it most likely was cut from the victim's vest near his chest. What's, what's this? There's a big handprint on it. Surely it must have been left on the cloth by whoever shoved the victim into the sword. What? Oh, sorry, oh, you're, what? You're... Whose fingerprints are on this? I'm sure Raito has checked, haven't you? <laughs> well, whose are they? They're Miss Skies. Miss Emma Skies. What? They're mine? So I really did do it. See, I told you it was conclusive. Objection! But this was found in your safe. That means it's possible you forged it. I don't know what you are talking about. I don't remember any cloth in my safe. Do you really expect me to believe that? Objection! But... Give it up, Mr. Wright. It's over. You shouldn't have presented that. By presenting that evidence, you tied Emma Sky to Neil Marshall's death. No. Mm -mm. It appears we have our killer. No. No. Everything hinged on that point. In the end, Lana was found guilty. No. Surprise! Well, Just kidding. That's the end of Phoenix. All right. Well, that was Ace Phoenix Wright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah. uh, Angel, thank you for being. Get the fuck back in the game. My God. <laughs> Uh, Never be my lawyer. <laughs> Continue. Game. Continue. Right. No. No, no, no. No, oh, wait, wait, no, oh, no, 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 no. My God. What? No. Stop. Okay. So, okay. Give okay. me the Wiimo. No, Stop. don't reset. No, no. no. <laughs> give me the... Okay. Give me it. Okay, okay. Give me it. <laughs> What's it. going on? It was just a goof. It was just a goof, Angel. You're okay. taking it too far. <laughs> okay. Try again. <laughs> Sorry. God. Um, yeah, it's like, you show that evidence, it'll fuck you, Mr. Wright. And he's like, well. <laughs> well, better erase my safe. Guess, <laughs> guess I gotta. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Gant's telling me to do it. All right. Get get back in there. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. <laughs> yeah, I forgot this was me. Can I present the evidence? That I'm the one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? No! <laughs> you cannot show evidence. Your Honor? I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! Chief Gant? You... you opened my safe. I know you took what was inside! The conclusive evidence! See, you gotta do the... And I was play, And the whole school was listening! Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright, why don't you show them? We found it together! Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? Oh, uh, it looks like part of it's been cut off for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the chief of police, 
Concealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Yes, this is. Not uh, everything else. <clears throat> Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, Rido. Oh, brother? <laughs> well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. What? You mean you admit to it? I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her? I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So you assisted Miss Skye. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we rearranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean, you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for, a fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. Oh, it was just a... Objection! But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar, too? Ho, ho, ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Rido, cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant? You were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe? Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that being Chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright? What do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Rido. You should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. <laughs> and you're telling You can me. say that again. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. Oh, God. As long as I don't mess up here, <laughs> victory is mine as I turn and look at Angel. Mm, so don't show it. No, this time show it because now you've you've now Gant has mm. spilled the beans, right? Okay, I mean that's what we really want is to like egg him to like. Because re think about the previous timeline, right? Gant was like, "What? I don't know what that is, right?" That's. But oh. now Gant has admitted that he did all this stuff. Oh, right? Okay, so now we can show it. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. <laughs> I just had to wait a little bit. All right, then let's see this conclusive evidence. Angel, this is why you're not low on the evil scale. On on my, <laughs> we ran, we ranked our all our friends from most good to most evil, and uh, Angel, you're just too pure. You rank me a bit higher than, uh, or a bit lower than, I don't know. I, would I, suppose, rank myself. I suppose. I think uh, Steve was the most good. Do you feel like that's still true? Kinda. He's a Boy Scout. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, Scout's honor. When, uh, see, when, I'm curious, when you played this for the first time, did you present the evidence? It's or did been you, so dude, long, I don't recall. Angel, my dear, I played this in like 2008. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember? I still remember the- 2008! Uh, yeah. I remember what choices I picked for Kingdom Hearts. 
Okay, that's because Kingdom Hearts is <laughs> that's your, that's that's your because, Bible. That's because, like, yeah, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is the fucking Bible. And you don't me. love this as much? Oh, I do. Oh, don't question my love. So you for guys it. don't remember what you oh, chose? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was it. playing. I was playing this on a, on a commuter bus to and from New York <laughs> City when I was. You don't. Fucking okay, going but to the alternative is you getting the bad end. Do you remember getting the bad end before the good end? I don't know, but to be honest with you, Angel, I would have thought that I would. I think your instincts were. Oh, I gotta be. You know, I, I can't. I don't think it was. A, I don't think that. you were unreasonable. No. Yeah, that was fine. But I think you were kind of forgetting some of the context here, which I think right. will be explained as, I mean, you already know, like, oh, he's saying, like, he hid all this stuff, but right, there's something right, else right. that I think you forgot. Well, we're gonna oh, I'm not, okay, but I'm not looking for justification. I'm just curious what you guys picked. My gut, it would be that I probably got the good ending, but I don't, but I can't know for sure, because I was like, mm -hmm. so I was, just can't remember. This was like 17, 18 years ago. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. and you can't remember either. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Also, I've played like, Seven of the games at this point. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Take that. Let me verify this once more. I wanted to give you the option, though. Yes. Because I wanted to, you know, first let you see what you would do, and you know, you can experience like a. Since we saved, it was fine. It's more okay. of the playthrough to enjoy. Yeah. I'll say. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes. At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. Mm, you mean... It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Damn, she really shoved his ass. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. You're as slow on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Rido had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that. Mr. Wright, do you really know? Uh, whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person After I did that time jump. The person <laughs> whom these fingerprints belong to is... I almost said it's like Emperor Palpatine. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. God. Um, I mean, yeah, it's hers. So, it's okay. Take that! Emma? Emma Sky? What? They're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> You're really something, Rido. You knew this girl did it all along. Oh. And you still tried to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic, but true. It's sad, but true. <laughs> this girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. Nailed it. It did. I said it right. I said it right. Hold it! How could you? You, you monster! Miss Skye? You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you... You acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha! But I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. Oh, you purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy! Not my pooping badge. Mm. Maybe I won't. What's the <laughs> matter, cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer. Before I do that, 
There's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall? Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth, what could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical is a yeah, tyrannical. Yeah. Yeah. Your tyrannical reign ends here. Reagan? No. Tyrannosaurus know. ends here. <laughs> Behold, the piece of okay. Do not okay, yeah. Behold, yeah. the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. Um Um Hold on. Uh, do do do. He's wearing it. <laughs> Just wanna. He's wearing his trademark vest. Bears Emma Sky's prints. Um. Do 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 do. This is just texture, right? It's just like the yeah, yeah. Okay, and like even on the back side, yeah, that's just texture. It's just texture. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not like a sequin. Um, this photo, crime scene, scene, take a with details. I can't flip it. Okay, is is there something in this photo? Like, is there, like, a little peak of him underneath the helmet? Is there... Um... Like, he's stabbed and he already has, like, a piece of it removed. Um... I'm, like... God... My hunch is that it's this. Why? Because it's why? Like, one because it's like the most recently presented evidence. No, just logically, why? Um. Well, that well that is like like, but that's like meta logic. Yeah. No, um, not meta logic. Just think. But like, okay, why? Ugh, something that's in here. Um. There's a lot of. No. Okay. Well, no. Is the, is the blade going through, like. Like all the way across his torso, because like the blood's in front of him. Um, like I can't tell. Can like can you be my eyes? Like is there a blade that's like puncturing no. through him? No. Okay. Um, he was stabbed in the back though. But why is there blood on the front? Um. Coughed up blood. You don't have his hat. Um, I don't know if that's important. Um, I assume the shadow, that's the flash from the phone. Like, she genuinely took this photo. Um, <laughs> I don't want to ask for a hint at like the most crucial moment, but I for the second of it, please. Okay, so what what was Gant's ace in the hole? The piece of cloth with the handprint on it. Okay. What what's strange then? Um, do do do, do. what's strange? Okay, he... What do you see here? I see blood. Okay. It's on the front. Okay. It's on his tie. Okay. It's, um... It's not underneath where the missing piece of the 
vest is. I don't know if that's us. Is there, is there, do you see a missing piece from that vest? Yeah, I do. Okay. So think about it. Like, if, okay. Oh, like, wouldn't there? Because when you, th when you think about it, Emma Sky supposedly did this. Yeah. yeah Pushed yeah. Neil, Neil onto the thing and then he died, right? Mm -hmm. So what's wrong? Um, 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 what's wrong? Do you want to look at that piece of cloth again? Yeah. It's the only blood is like ship of cloth. Angel, if I stabbed you uh -huh. in the back right now and you yes. coughed blood, mm -hmm. okay, all over your shirt. All right. It would be all over this, wouldn't it? Okay. Is there any blood on this? No. Okay. So so go back to the photo. So what's weird here? Why does it do that? Oh. I think maybe when I have the Wii mode on a different orientation, like the okay. directional stuff. So press A. Anyway, check anyway. the photo. So why? Sorry. So what's wrong with this then? I mean, there's already so much blood on his vest. So why wasn't there blood on that piece? Right, and what? And what? Where is there blood where there shouldn't be? Oh, underneath. Underneath, right? Yeah. Like if if it was really like the vest had blood on it, and he cut it. There, one, there'd be blood on the piece, but also why would there shouldn't be any blood underneath the vest mm. where the missing part is? So that's the logic here. Okay. I see. Okay. So it's safe to present this. This yes. is. And Take what that. exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture. This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes. His shirt is showing underneath. His shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on this vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth. Wait, there's no blood on it. <laughs> Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword! No, this is nonsense! Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor's sword. <sighs> then to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue and make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out the bloodless piece of the victim's vest? Ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, you proved that you were the actual murderer! No! It's finished. Objection. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was close, Rhino. You almost had me. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Order, order. What nonsense is this? 
Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Dodgy? Earlier, Orito here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, <laughs> Rido? <laughs> you do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Oh, so this is what you're saving your voice for. Mm. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's very taxing. Your Honor, uh, <laughs> I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. <laughs> well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. Mm -mm. I'm afraid Mr. Grant, uh, Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct. What's his name? Mr. Grant. Mr. Grant. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. True, legal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? It seems, at last, the time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposefully and illegally concealed this piece of cloth? Think about it. Um... Can you open your court record? Uh, what button is, is it? Uh, plus? Plus, plus. Is it plus? Okay. Okay. The book. Damn it. Okay. No, it doesn't. It's doing that thing. All right. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Uh, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case and trial. Um, it is relevant. And, uh, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Technically... He verbally approved, like, hey, uh, take out that piece of cloth. Why are you hiding it? Like, um... So he didn't break the rules? Who didn't break the rules? Uh... Phoenix? Okay, so... But Gan is arguing why, you know, you didn't show up before, so you were concealing it, and that's mm -hmm. illegal. But what is true about what's different between when you did present it and before when you had the chance to present it um the difference was him admitting that uh it was evidence that he concealed okay so he, press a um so what then what rule can you pull out of like well Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case and trial. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. He did approve it. Like, it's like, yes, I did conceal okay, it. Okay, so ignore that one. Okay. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case and trial. Um, The case that's technically in trial is the murder... Well, we're here for multiple reasons. Like, the original case was, like, about the murder of Mr. Goodman. I don't know if this is too meta. I don't know if this is going too far. Um, unreserved evidence. Answer is simpler than you think. Okay, so. Okay. What, what is different? Like, before, before, what changed? You said it. What changed? Um, that, uh, Gant admitted that he was hiding it. Right, so before Gant admitted that, what was what was the case then about the evidence? Um he Looking at rule number two, what can you argue then? Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. Um When the first time you had the chance and the second time you had the chance, between that and Gant was like, Oh, I hid that thing. Uh -huh. So what? So then, what could you argue based on rule two, when you had the opportunity before? You're trying to argue why you didn't break the rules, okay? Uh huh. So then, what is true about the first moment? What changed between um, instances? 
Ooh. The first instance, like, he denied any relevancy to himself in that murder, but, like, this time he does... Well, we're talking about evidence right now. Oh, evidence. So that, um, that cloth, piece of cloth. Yeah, yeah. The first... What can you argue, then? The first rule? Or, no, the mean, first, or in the first instance? The first instance, yeah. What could I argue? Rule 2 says, Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. So you could argue what? It's relevancy. It's, uh... What about its relevancy changed? About who it pinned... Who, about who's it, uh, who it pinned the real murderer to? No. No. Just, okay. Bef there was a lot of revelations about, like... I think I think you're overthinking it. I just rule two just says you can't present it unless it's relevant, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Before Gant said all this shit and they revealed all this stuff, then what could you argue then about the evidence in the first instance that it that it was that it was relevant? It, you then you'd be breaking the rule, right? If it was relevant evidence in the first instance, you have to present it, right? So what? But now it's irrelevant because no, no it's not oh, it's not or you're saying now the evidence is irrelevant oh mm. in the first instance it was relevant you're that's what you're saying so you're yeah. so you're admitting to breaking the rule then oh but i need to for submitting but like it wasn't like what i have to argue is that it uh, it was irrelevant. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Before Gant said anything, it was just a piece of cloth, mm -hmm. right? That technically didn't have any connection to the case, right? Because none, we didn't see the photo of Neil and we didn't, Gant didn't say he hid anything, right? Mm -hmm. So at that moment, it wasn't relevant. Even though you knew it was connected, Technically, it wasn't relevant to the case, but then after Gant admitted that he hid that thing and all this stuff, it became relevant. That's basically what this is your argument here. Okay. So if you go back, press B. B again. So did you purposely and illegally conceal this piece of cloth? I did not. Okay. Certainly. I refuse to present evidence at one point. <laughs> so the evidence is illegal. Objection! No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. <laughs> it's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. Oh, what do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Archie. Don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You can't let him. Objection. There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let's settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. Do I just show this book? I assume because it has the rule. I present it. You guys aren't saying anything. I'm just going to present it. Anyway. Take that. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth. Nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. <clears throat> rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of, uh, I found this piece of evidence myself inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the, the police department. Rule 2, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. 
And here in the crux of the matter. Here is the crux. Oh, here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Objection! Sorry, but can you recall when was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. <laughs> you yourself confessed to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of, of the victim's vest? Oh, yes. <laughs> no! I don't sound like that! It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. And there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gant! The killer was you! No, no. <laughs> oh my god. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years he's been snooping around the department, trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, and he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Starr, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Okay, <laughs> said Brace. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden, he had to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? You can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many uh, questions left unanswered. He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked too. I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. Oh. Well, they make the, the UI move. I couldn't just pull it out. You would only increase the amount of blood and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes. Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone asked to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car? I'm sorry, we couldn't think of any other way to move the body. We broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? You pull down a lot more than us detectives. Ugh. What does this have to do with anything? You're horrible. How could you get Miss Sky involved in all this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker? 
I feel bad for having to do it. I couldn't sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well, you left the jar fragment in gloves. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their job as well, much to my dismay. That rhymes. Hmm. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy, what are you doing in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. Oh, God. <laughs> One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Aji. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. It's over between us. <laughs> I knew you as uh, I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator and an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Aji. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, <laughs> you'll be fine. Now you have Raito here. And worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. You see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. The sound of a new beginning. Oh. Is that a title drop? Sorry? Is that a title drop? A title, the title. Like a new beginning. Mm. Like a subtitle? Uh, no. 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 There are two things I want you to understand. Yes. Angel. Uh, first, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gat betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years, from the time I had Gant help me forge evidence, up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. Well, I did commit like 80 crimes, so... <laughs> my, my. What high standards you have for a rookie. Mm -hmm. I could see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Oh. Oh. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Skye. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Mm. It was nothing. <laughs> Bethany. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Stop it. I only did my job, <laughs> Baka. <laughs> in light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is, is, uh, is in order for all of us. Miss Sky. Yes, Your Honor? You are innocent of murder. However, although the Chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes. I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. Oh my god. She's free! <laughs> kind of. <laughs> well, this trial has gone on far too long already. Mm -hmm. You can say that again, Judge. Regarding the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, not guilty. Kind of. Woo! 
Oh, man. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> we can go home! That is all. The court is adjourned. Whew! Beep. At long last, it's finally over. <laughs> uh, uh, Emma! Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook. But at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended... I could see why Mia Faith... Do it, do it real. <laughs> oh, okay. I could see why Mia Faith thought so highly of you. I'm sorry, I shouldn't joke right now. <laughs> I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> you fucker. Uh -huh. <laughs> you knew that was coming. You suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. Oh, are you shut up, bucker? <laughs> you know, I did my best too, but I didn't say a single word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh. I brought so many cronuts. Oh, God. That's a cronut. That's a donut with a uh, combined with a croissant. <laughs> They're really good. Mm. Oh, uh, guess I am. Uh, I'll come back later. Oh my god. Rule of threes. Ah, Detective Gumshoe! What is it? Stomp, stomp, stomp. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run all around while on duty? And then top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. <laughs> hey, uh, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? Uh, nope. Not this time. I came today because of uh, you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd uh, like to see someone. Oh, Lana. Should you be? Yeah, it's still you, actually. Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Scott, mm, under arrest. Well, that will tell if you won't. <laughs> Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day two years ago. Huh? It was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Sis. I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. Oh. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you're only doing it for me. No. Huh? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you. Sis... I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now. You're happy? Of course. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back. And now you have. <laughs> oh, Emma. Emma. No. Oh. No one can change the past. The only thing we could do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in doing so, that's our in so doing, we could find the way back to our path. And once we found our path, 
we can move on from our past mistakes toward a brighter future. At least, that's what I felt. Look at those two sisters make up. Mr. Wright, Mr. Gumshoe. Eh, uh, me? Thank you both for all you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? Edgeworth? Stop hiding and come over here. Safe. <laughs> oh, uh... Um, 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 two? Yep. Where was he hiding? Uh, two? Okay. Do, 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 save your game. Oh. Where was he hiding? I just came to say, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Right. Well, I'll be going now. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. Mm -hmm. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. Duh! <laughs> no matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't change my own mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth. Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. <laughs> you despise criminals. <laughs> I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. <laughs> One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. <sighs> I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary, but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. But Edgeworth... Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. And that's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. What? Edgeworth, don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred von Karma, <laughs> were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. You said, in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon? That may be right, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. No. You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? <laughs> huh? What? Oh, uh, yeah. This is a pop quiz. Come on, Mr. Wright. Show what Lana's is talking about. Lana. Evidence. Neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own. It's been a long case, so you might not remember, but yeah. do you remember something that, like, both of you had a part in? Had a part in... Yeah. God, that's one of the, it's one of the older ones. Uh, uh, not necessarily one of the really old ones. Keep going. Mm, the screwdriver? No, that's not no. something that both of you... Both of us found. Yeah, keep going. Or wait, did I miss it? I guess. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. Um, there was something that had two parts. Think, oh man, these gay lawyers. Two they, parts. They, one fan. They, they combined their evidence together. Oh. They um, DNA digivolved to make one super piece of evidence. One had a nut half of oh. a heart, the other one had the other half, and they put it together to make a heart. So this was, okay, we found one of them, and then he had the other evidence. Literally, we had to put it together. Um, I'm assuming it's this. Yes! Take that! That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list, and I had the other. 
apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Edgeworth. <laughs> it's, it's time for me to go. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. If you'll excuse me. There are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Edgeworth! What will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. What happened in this trial could either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. <gasps> Kith. <laughs> Kith. I'd better be getting back too. Okay, I'll come visit you. It seems we both still have a lot to learn. Here, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation? It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, sis. I will. Smile. Smile. And so, <laughs> another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. Aww. Faith that their lives have only just begun. As for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. Oh, I love the, that new uh, gumshoe sprite. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> a journey to rediscover myself. Well, nope. uh, don't go trucking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is it, detective? Uh, there's just uh, a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But... I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. Huh? Uh, basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Oh. Uh, believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? Way to go, detective. I didn't know he had a wild side. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> you see, Mr. Wright here is the one who'll be footing the bill. Oh, huh? 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 What, you think I could afford that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. Huh? 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 Thank you, Mr. Wright. You're the best. Why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Since we're all here, why don't we all go together? Yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. All together. One, two, three. Oh. Object. Uh, you, you gotta point it. You gotta point it. What? Right? I don't. Objection! There we go. This is a, this, this, what? <laughs> you what? 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 This, is, this is the first time this has ever been a function. Yeah, you technically could do that before, but there were. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's real strange. for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of Emma. She's a coroner. I think Emma will be pleased. As for me, this affair is pretty you can much do your goal. days at the prosecutor's <gasps> office. Still, I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. No! Hey, no! <laughs> oh. Oh. Would that ever revealed her bring fingerprint? I should have done it faster. No, it's, I think it's just for fun. Mm. Oh. Yikes! I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my unauthorized investigation in the chief's office. <gasps> if we pe oh, penalize you anymore, it'd be worse than firing you. Yep, that's what they said. It just goes to show, you can't shake me off that easily. Oh, you can get character portraits, maybe. Oh, yeah, you definitely gotta do it now. Yeah. You gotta be quick. Quick like a bunny. Well, I got the best one. Yeah. <laughs> I won. I wonder if there's one for every character. Am I not gonna get a hundred percent run for? Yeah, we got we got to restart. Oh, uh, the right. beginning. Damn it! When's the last time you saved? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. Oh, oh boy. Quick, get his portrait. My new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. My partner's keeping oh, an eye wow, on the entrance fun. for me today. I'll show them now. Someday I'm going to make detective. Yes, sir. Then I can be just like Dick, that Dick Gumshoe. Oh, I was like, is there more to it? Yes. To <laughs> this. <laughs> well, it's not important. No. Oh. <laughs> I wish we missed him instead of Lana. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. I didn't know. I didn't remember this. Have you done it before? Oh, I mean, yeah, ages ago. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. What you doing there? Oh, hey. How's it going? That's me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your prince. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> gonna wave my flag. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dead. Bye, world. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm gonna eat y'all, dude. <laughs> do, 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 do you remember I'm the gonna, jaws? Yeah, I'm gonna, eat the, I'm gonna eat them hairy legs. I'm gonna eat that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown oh, with a steak weird. lunch partner? Oh. Miss Star managed to sneak into this into me. She see to see one of the guards and see. Shake? Well, yeah. cowboy, looks like you did it. You even gave Bambina back her smile. You make sure Billy and the gang get their water. Wow. Give who back their water? Uh, uh cacti. Billy. Oh, you're not supposed to water them that often. Looks like we won't be able, we won't be seeing each other for a while. <laughs> That's a farewell gift. I put the new meat on the menu. The right, blah, 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 the top, top layer tastes bitter, bitter, bitter as the peat, but the bottom layer is sweet as victory. There you go. Uh, kids might seem to dig the turnabout theme, but it's not a seller of blah, 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 blah. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme, say. So you know. That's about theme, yeah. I laughed so hard at the goofy bit mm -hmm. that it like dried up my eyes. So I was oh. like desperately trying to like wipe my tears, like rehydrate and here them. I thought you were getting emotional. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty good goal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Oh. Anyway, he said he's been doing uh, something or other for uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I better be... Huh? Oh, no. I forgot my gavel. Sorry, gotta go. Do you want to try the other one? Other what? The doing the bottom game. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine, okay. Did you just want to take over for fun? I mean, it's like, I don't know, you weren't that enthused to... Oh, I was, I was still oh, oh, sorry. fixing my eyes. It's sorry. fine. Would That's you, fine, though. Would you like to resume? Sure. Okay, yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. You're the pilot. Oh! <gasps> oh! Ah! Nothing soothes the soul like fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss uh, hearing Nick and his objections. Still, I can't go back until I full... I'm a, Full-fledged spirit medium. My afternoon training is about to begin. Coming. Well, see you around, Nick. Oh, yeah, that's a little sneak peek, too, actually. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh. Who's even left? I'm curious, yeah. Because I don't think they'll show... Maybe it's just this? Gant? No, I don't think they'll show Gant. Oh, Miles, Miles. Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, oh, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth. Um, Mr. Edgeworth. I brought you your tea. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Ooh, mm -hmm. another tease. So Emma's like the Togepi. Of this game, yeah. The Togepi? Like the the tease for like, oh, what's to come? Ooh. Uh I think she was well. Thanks for coming to see me uh, to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be alright. Whenever I want to see Lana, all I have to do is open this book. Oh, oh, turn it. Uh, yeah. Open it up. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. What's that? Oh. Oh. I 
think that's that's the end, right? Oh no, never mind. Yep, yep. Well, that is we finally did it. The first Ace Attorney game. I know that last case was very long, but <laughs> overall, Angel, how, what'd you think? Eh, it didn't have to be so long. I eh. I agree, <laughs> but I do really like the characters in it a lot. Oh, it's oh the characters are really great. Yeah, I love them all. Um, yeah, the long thing is uh, that's a kind of an Ace Attorney thing, but I think the <laughs> I love Gant. I love the skies. I forgot how long Rise from the Ashes. Yeah, it's was. a long. It's case. like I. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's like half of the original game's length at least. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty good. That, so that last trial was called Rise, Rise, Rise from the, from the Ashes. Ashes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then um, we'll uh, do the second one at some point. But Angel, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, uh, we've That's enjoyed right. your first Ace Attorney. Not your first, but your first time playing through the entire thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, we'll have you back on when we get to number two. All right. We're done. Oh, my God. <laughs> We've been going a long time. Bye, everybody. See ya. See you on the next one. Stop playing the second one now! <laughs>